हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ सस्पेंशन डिजाइनिंग फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आई फेस इन डिजाइनिंग सस्पेंशन वाज हाउ टू फाइंड अ हार्ड पॉइंट्स एंड देन समबडी टोल्ड मी अबाउट द लाइन डायग्राम बट इट सीम्ड वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग एंड इट टुक टाइम फॉर मी टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली दिस लाइन डायग्राम इज सो दिस इज माई कार एंड दिस प्लेन इज अ वाइजेड प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू द व्हील सेंटर ऑन द नेक्स्ट फिगर आई हैव ड्रॉन अ सेक्शन व्यू इफ आई जॉइन दिज माउंट्स बाय लाइन then it will look something like this line diagram now why this line diagram it's very important to understand that through this line diagram you get your plane of bis bones this is a plane of bis bones uh, this can be used for for the suspension design now how to construct this line diagram you might observe that a line diagram requires several dimensions uh, it requires kpi wheel dia scrub radius ground clearance distance between these two wheels which is track width uh, so you need to know these all dimensions to make a line diagram i'll explain one by one how to find these dimensions tire has several inherent information written over it tire radius should be more so, sorry tire radius should be less in order to have less rotational inertia and more angular accelerations nominal width of the uh, tire should be more so that it generates more traction and load rating and speed rating should match with what you want this requires a extensive market research to find a suitable tire which is both good in performance as well as within your limit kpi is another essential parameter it uh, gives a self centric effect which means it will help the steering to return back to its own position but you don't want to give too much of kpi as it will increase the steering effort i gave 3 degree of kpi ground clearance is decided in a team meeting one thing to keep in your mind is that if suspension travel is supposed to be say 50 mm then ground clearance should not be less than 50 mm and scrub radius is uh, roughly 40% of the tire width for defining suspension mounts on knuckle you have kpi you have scrub radius the only thing you require is the distance between these two more for this when you decide tire uh, you should measure how much space is available in rim and then decide the suspension mounts on knuckle it should utilize the complete space suspension mounts on chassis need to be assumed first and then it uh, the coordinates of those uh, assumed uh, points needs to be fed in the kinematic simulation software or uh, python uh, and Uh, then you can generate the camber curves and then use those camber curves to optimize those coordinates uh, if you have any doubt regarding how to use python for generating camber curves please do contact me the uh, iteration procedure change the length of the upper uh, wheel bone but keep the length of the lower wheel bones and ic fix it doesn't improve camber my much then elevate or lower ic by keeping rolls in the same this means to keep ic on the same green line this green line you can see over here you can uh, this means to keep your ic on the same green line but to uh, make it nearer or farther then increase or decrease the roll center and repeat step 2 uh, for me i have tried this iteration uh increasing the roll center height and lowering the ic give a best result for me this for this iterations you need to understand what the selection criteria is uh front camber should be less than the rear as front is your guiding wheel when you turn a car then its wheel its outer wheel Uh, tries to get a positive camber so you need to provide uh, initial negative camber such that it gets close to zero but not positive so this forms a very essential point camber change of outer wheel should never go positive uh, roll center deviation should be less and roll center height should be less than cg these all theories are good but there are some practical aspects too front roll hoop is a bended structure so one has to ask uh, what all bends are available and consider those in design see whatever we design needs to be fabricated this 
iteration is only successful if you define envelope under which you can iterate. The best way is to make a PVC model with initial coordinates and see what are the scopes of iteration. Get your driver opinion on ergonomics and note how much space roughly each component is occupying. So with this, my presentation ends. Uh, this is my email ID. And for any assistance regarding fabrication or design of Python code for Camber Curve, feel free to contact me. This is a website. This website combines HTML form with Python. I've used the same concept to build interface, but I'm stuck and I'm not able to send graph generated to the local server. If uh, anybody of you have any suggestion, please do tell me.